Okay, so next up, what we want to do is we want to trim out all the edges that we don't want uh, in this uh, geometry until we get the final part geometry looking just like our part over here. So we know that there's a bunch of areas right here and a lot of lines at the bottom over here that we need to just delete. We only want the outer boundary of our part uh, for selecting the toolpath, so we want to make sure to leave out the outer boundary. So come over here and select the Trim Extend Break or Trim Break Extend feature. It's located right here. Select it. And now you're going to see a bunch of options. There's a bunch of different ways that you can actually trim. You can trim leaving one entity, uh, trimming two entities, and trimming three entities. You can also trim entities that you have selected and also extend or trim entities to point. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to have our third one or fourth one right here. It's called Divide Delete Selected. So this allows you, if you go over any point, you can see it turns yellow and black. That's the area that you have selected to delete. So if I just select that area alone, it will delete that area. Now say I already know that, for example, this line, this line, this line needs to be deleted as well as maybe this line. So let's go ahead and learn how to use the uh, Trim 3 entities to delete that. So go ahead and click on this. So what you want to do is you want to click the three edges here that you do not want to get rid of. For example, I don't want to get rid of this line right here. I don't want to get rid of this line right here. But now, depending on what third line you pick, it will tell you that, hey, I'm going to delete the ones that are dashed in white. And that's exactly what you would want. So you can do that. Now, the reason I don't want to do this is because it deletes this entire line and I actually need that entire line. I need it in a few other areas. So if I select that, you're going to notice that all of my lines here around it are deleted. Um, and that's fine, but I do need I do need that line or the line that is from here to here, for example. So I definitely want to undo that. So if you did something like that and you want to undo it, all you need to do is come over here to the top left and select undo. Now you can also select edit undo, or you can hold control and type Z. And that will undo the last thing that you did, and that's the trimming operation. So let's go ahead and do it the easy way. So go back to your trimming and click on the fourth one down, which is the trim divide. And just go ahead and delete all the ones that you do not want. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all of these right here. Okay, only leaving the ones that I want. So go ahead and delete all the bottom ends right here because you know that that's not what, uh, uh, there's nothing in here that you need. Uh, I'm going to go back to my drawing real quick to see what else I need to do. So this one goes over 0.75 and then up and then over again. So 0.75 up and over again. And then this goes down from here to here. So I don't need any of that. Now I'm going to leave this line here and I'll tell you why in a little bit. I'm going to delete all of this stuff right here. And uh, this line right here, all these lines. And I'm going to leave this line. I'll show you why in a little bit and leave this right there. So now that I have that done, select on OK and go back to drawing a line. So you're still going to have to draw some lines to connect a few things. So I'm going to select this point and that point right here. Hit apply. And that's the reason why I left this line and this line because I want to use them uh, to select that line. And also, if I delete this line, there won't be any line or any uh, intersecting spot that I can snap onto here. So I need to select this area and this line right here. This way I can snap them on together. Apply and OK. So now we can go back to the trimming entities if you want and go ahead and clean up our part until it looks just like that. So now if I go back to my drawing, it looks exactly the outer boundary just like this, just like we want. And the only thing we need is creating a 100 thou fillet or 0.1 radius and a 0.05 radius over here. Now you've learned that in our previous lesson. So go back, check the OK button, click on fill it. Make sure you type in 0.1 over here, hit enter, and you can come over here to this corner right here. Now, if you if you go just to around the radius area right here, you'll see a preview of it. Uh, the better way, I would always like to select my two lines to know that I, uh, I'm i creating a radius between those two lines for sure and not for something that might be close to that area. Hit apply. Now change this to 0.05, hit enter, and then come over here again, select one line, select the other apply and OK. And now if I go back to my drawing, it looks just like my drawing. Everything looks great. And uh, I want what I want to do also in the next video, I'm going to show you how to create the geometry from scratch going from one end to the other. So uh, we've learned how to create the geometry 
in this method, but there's different ways you can create the geometry, and I'm going to show you a different method in the next video.